Good afternoon everyone, hope you're well and you're doing so bad on this uh, lockdown. It's a great pleasure to have uh, you here in uh, Highbury Easington in our, in our kitchen. Um, today I'm gonna do a very interesting little dish which I do at home every single day and uh, basically uh, I'm gonna, uh, we just partnered with Deliveroo and I'm gonna thank you then for letting me take the Instagram account to showcase uh, what, um, what this great dish is, very, very simple. I know that Luis Capaldi did something similar in the past, but our one is slightly different because uh, basically um, I ordered this beautiful bag here from uh, Italiano, which uh, he just launched on Deliveroo, okay? There's some beautiful little uh, ingredients, yeah, that you can see over here, okay, that you can order online, okay, and uh, you can really do this uh, fantastic simple dish with me, okay, so basically if you have pots and pan, be ready, okay, and see the setup up over here, because we're going to go and do and cook this uh, beautiful dish together, okay, so let's get going now, and uh, but before I'm doing this, okay, I'm going to invite uh, a lovely friend, okay, and let's hope if she's on, okay, but before we do that, let's go through the ingredients then, okay? So what we got here, look, some lovely spaghetti, some lovely piennolo, this is special, special uh, uh, tomato from uh, the Vesuvio mountain, all right? Then what else I've got here? Some lovely tuna, bonito, very, very nice. Look at this baby here. Uh, what else I've got here? Of course, some uh, stracciatella di burrata, okay, which is pretty good, right? And uh, again, stracciatella di burrata is basically the filling of, uh, of the burrata, okay? And the little beauty here, which is Nduja from Calabria. Who, of course, whoever knows me, I know that no, they call me the king of Nduja because I brought this one in the UK for the first time. But this one is the Levasi one, which is, uh, which is uh, absolutely, absolutely lovely. Okay, so should we see if our friends, she's connected now, let me check over here. Okay, if Nadine, she's on. Let's see. Let's see if she sent a request yet. Our friends, she's connected now, let me check over here. She doesn't look like yet. She's on. We send the request. Let's see if she sent a request yet. Yes, she's connected now. Let me check over here. Not yet. Okay. Let's see if she sent a request. Are you there, Nadine? Are you there? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so let's uh, let's start uh, let's start here. Let's, let, let, I mean, let's start again what we got the ingredient here. Okay. Look, as I said. It's a very simple recipe you want to do, and this is called again spaghetti mezzogiorno. Uh, mezzogiorno means um, two things. First is salt of Italy. This was the ingredients they come down, okay? And also also lunch time, okay? So basically, what you need to have is uh, hot boiling water over here, okay? And the pot of a nice pan here to make. Uh, to make the sauce, basically, okay. We find we find it a bit difficult to connect with Nadine, but uh, you know we carry on. And when Nadine is ready, she will join us. That's for sure, okay. So, look, the ingredients you need on top of that is basically okay. This uh, fresh garlic. You can use normal garlic if you want to, and then you can have some lovely um, spring onions. But I've been lucky enough to have tropea, tropea onion, which is of course from Calabria, very sweet, very sweet. Okay, so what we're doing now is basically we're gonna just add a little bit of, of this oil here, okay? And so Nadine, she's not there yet. Yeah, where is Nadine? Okay, look, what I'm gonna do now, just open this uh, tune over here, okay? And we're gonna add. Okay, so that basically means no waste. We don't waste anything, really. Okay. Mhm. Mm so now, just gonna grab a knife. Sorry. And we're gonna gently, okay, 
chocolate. As I said, this is the fresh garlic that if you have normal garlic, feel free to do so, okay? Yeah, so what we're doing now is just the garlic here, and then we're gonna chop, yeah, some of the onion, okay? This, as I said, it's very, very sweet, so you're gonna love that. But again, a little, uh, a little spring onions will do, okay? You just gently, just gently go, okay? And gently stir it, okay? If you, you can really smell the tuna. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go with just a little bit of this douche. I mean, I'm, I'm going to give you the recipe already, but it's, uh, basically... Uh, Hello, Francesco! Hey, Nadine, how you doing? <laughs> I mean, I am just the worst at the internet and us two together, but I've been cooking away. I've been chopping garlic and putting the tuna oil on. So where are we? So basically, if you just started, I mean, first you go here, the, the garlic and the onion, and I had just a little bit of nuja that you have it. Are you there? Yes, I am Good. so excited that you sent this amazing package with all of this stuff. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's just... It's just unbelievable what you can do this lockdown, you know? Just order the most amazing Italian ingredients and they, they come to the door, I mean, without going out. It's fantastic. And you know, it's very difficult to find Italian ingredients. Bene. Okay. Bene. Okay. Bene. 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 It's nice to see you. How are you all getting on? Sorry, again. How are you and your family doing? Can you hear me? Yes. Are you doing well? The, in this lockdown situation, I know you've been out Very cooking well. for the I mean, to be honest, yeah, you know, Nadine, I keep myself busy, as you know. Um, actually, it's a good point. As you know, I'm doing uh, NHS for three weeks, three, two, sorry, three days a week. Uh, we already feed, feed them 2,500 meals. And actually, I want to thank you very much, everyone, for all the restaurants. They're also delivery for what they're doing. I mean, they really help NHS giving free meals and stuff. I mean, and also, if you're gonna, if someone wants to make an offer or something, they don't need to go to the delivery website and they can check exactly what they're doing. But also myself, I do quite a lot. And as you know, I do video all the time, but it's a great pleasure to have you here in my kitchen. Yeah, last time oh, I saw you was on ITV. Thank you for asking me to do it. I'm very, very excited. Okay, so look at this now, Nadine. We go to Nduja Melting, look at this, this one. Yeah, are you, are you cooking with me now? Which I can't see yes, I'm following you. I put the oil on. I've chopped the onions. I thought we're not connecting, so I may as well just follow along what you're doing. So as I'm ready when we are together. Okay. So let me know which stage, um, stage you are. Okay, I'm just putting the andouja on. Fantastic. So I'm gonna wait for you when you get to this stage, all right? And do you, do you have the hot boiling water as well? Yes, I do. The the that's all in boiling. Fantastic. So what we're going to do now, if the, in the hot boiling water, we add a little bit of salt in that in. Okay, yes. salt. And we make sure, look, we make sure it's a salted boiling water, which is very, very important, you know? Yeah, did somebody say, or was it you that said, it has to almost be like seawater, very salty water? Well, you're saying seawater? Like seawater? Yes. That's a test of it, yeah? You taste, it's, it's the same. Well done. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how is your knowledge about Italian cooking anyway? Uh, yeah, I love your Italian cooking. Oh, I thank do. You. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so you, got, you, you got the, the salt there now. So what should you do now? We're going to open the packet of the spaghetti. Okay. okay. I mean, have you seen the spaghetti here? They're quite long. I mean, this is, usually you don't find spaghetti like this, right? Because, okay. um, because the shape of them, you know? And that's the way spaghetti should be. I mean, look at this little, you know, curve here. And the spaghetti will be very long. So when we plate, yeah, they will look very, very interesting. So when you got the pasta like this, what we do, just chuck the pasta inside the water. Okay. And pasta like that. Okay, cool. give me that. So this pasta will take now approximately eight minutes, but um, we're probably gonna take one minute before or after because we're gonna finish the cooking the sauce, okay? So while the pasta is there, okay, the yonduja will be melted completely, I believe. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks good. What else have you got in there then? Do you, do you have the garlic in there? You got the garlic, yes, and the onion. Have you put the garlic in the onion as well? I didn't put the onion in. I will put that in right now. Good. Smells good, huh? Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> really, really good. But you know, you know, guys, that Nadine, she's she's in uh, in Ireland. Is that right? You know, in London, right? No, not in London. Uh, we came back here kind of when everything, um, when kind of the virus became something that was sure. everywhere. Before they introduced the lockdown, we decided to come back to kind of relax and just be in the countryside and and yeah, see what's happening in there. Also, because today is a fantastic, it's a lovely day, so I hope you go a lovely garden to enjoy. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yes, yes. And you're still in London? Sorry, we are in London. Yes, we are in London. We are in the centre of London. Yeah. Let me go garden. So the, our cat is very happy. <laughs> good. So me, after this, I'm going to go and cook for the NHS with some special deal for this. So special deal for them. So I'm very, very excited. So okay, that is. So lucky. You're not they're very lucky. Yeah. So you go. The onion, you got the garlic, you got the there, okay? So what are we doing now? I know you had some time yes. to get some basil, but if you can use like the dry basil, or you can use parsley or stuff like that. Just look, some basil in this. Yeah? Just a little bit of green stuff, okay? Yeah, we couldn't get basil here. We're very, very rural. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can use some garlic as well. So I think we should fresh shoot the dish, but that's the things we do with the, with the, with the basil, okay? Then, we open the tomato, okay? okay. You got the tomato open already. Yes, oh, this looks great. Okay. So, okay. let's... Soften a little bit. Okay. So, we got the sauce here now. I'm gonna put the tomato with all this water. It's on water inside. It's lovely. It's actually very, very, very good. You should try to use that water for your, for your bloody neck as well. So put the water and the tomato together. Oh, put all of it in. I just want to just drink this water. Yeah, exactly. So it just mix it now, okay? And in a bit, we will go and crush this uh, lovely tomato. So are we there, Danny? Yes, we're there. I'll just crush this. Whoop. Be just... careful, careful. What's They're exploding. Right? But it'll be worth it. I'll give you a little yeah. tip. Look. Look, what you do is this, look. Give a hole first, and then you squeeze them. Look, small hole, and then you squish them, okay? Small hole, okay. and then you squish them. It's easy, because if you do like this, yeah. they just explode everywhere. So, like this, like this, yeah? Oh, okay, right, that's the trick. Not just smash it down and then just see it fly everywhere. Aha! There you go. So that's the way you do it, okay? Okay, that's what you do, yeah? So make yes. sure you stir in. Sometimes you make sure you stir the pasta as well, so you don't want the pasta to stick all together, you see? Yeah? Okay, let me get some tongs out. Okay, so now just a little recap, actually, if you don't mind. So we have the, the garlic with olive oil, uh, sorry, the garlic with olive oil, the tuna oil, then, uh, then, the, and then the onion, then we have the indusia, okay, and then the basil and the tomato. So this is actually we call the base of this beautiful sauce. It smells, smells, it like, have... it smells like a bit of jar already, right? Amazing. I might have to just take a little, a little spoon and try it. Oh, it please, do. please so do, please nice. do, please do, please do. Any good? Mm. <laughs> that smells like eating, right? Is that all right? <laughs> okay, now, now, Nadine, the next step we're doing is uh, basically this one. We're gonna open the stracciatella, yeah? Yes, let me get that. And then we're gonna put the stracciatella in a small container, okay? That was very kindly sent here. I have been dying to open it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I have to wait for the rest of the... Use a bit, use your knife if you want to. Okay. And hello to everybody that's joined us. I can see everybody is like sending nice messages. Hi. 
Okay, so are you ready now? Yes, we're here in the booth. It smells so good. So basically, now you go to the burrata here, the spacciatella di burrata. We're going to have a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, okay. or any oil will do. So some black pepper, okay, and a bit of basil in there, yeah? I said, if you have basil, don't worry. It can be some chives. It can be some, uh, some white garlic. It can also be the zest of one lemon, the great zest of one lemon to give that lovely zingy flavor, you know? And then you just mix it. Okay. This is going to be, I mean, just this, this if you go to stracciatella, the rest like this, I mean, a few, few tomato, like salad, that would be one of the best things you can have as well. So fresh, so, light, so cheesy, yeah? If you see what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so. We got this done as well. Mm, I wish I wish you go. I hope you got a glass of wine next to you because you need it. I know we should have done that for lunch. We'll lunch wine. We'll cook it. I'm driving myself. This. I can't really drink. I've lost that one. So look at this pasta here now. You know then? Okay. So you got your stracciatella there, Dan? Yeah, it's doing good. Good, I mean, good. Are you cooking often at home, Nadine, or? What did you say? Are you cooking often at home, or what? Yes, I love to cook. I cook, um, I cook at least once a day, probably twice a day. Sometimes, nice. you know, you just throw together the old crisp sandwich. Do you know about a crisp sandwich, Francesco? What? A crisp sandwich. Really? How do you do that? I want the recipe now. <laughs> yeah, it's, I just rediscovered. It's my um, sister, Charmaine, used to make it all the time. And I used to be like, what is that? So you get two butts of white bread, <laughs> butter, and then a bag of crisps, and then you put them two together, and then you just eat that. <laughs> Wow. I don't want to tell this to my kids, but they're going to have that every night then. <laughs> it's surprisingly good. So I don't call yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, it's it's yeah. definitely crispy, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nadine, we've got the sauce here. Uh, we've got the pasta, which uh, I think it's time to move the pasta in the sauce. So what we do is this, okay. basically. We move the pan, because, I mean, you can use... Uh, a colander if you want to, but that's the way I usually do it. I just, you know, take the pasta twist with the, you know. I've seen you do that. Chop. It's like chopsticks. You know? I have to go. If we chuck this one inside. Okay. Look, all of it. So now, you know why I'm doing this, Daddy, because it's very, very important for two reasons. Basically, when the pasta finishes to cook in the sauce, it releases the starch, okay, which it creates that, that, that emulsion, okay? And it also absorbs the sauce. So it has to be, yeah? And the, little, and the little trick also is adding a bit of this pasta water. As you can see, it, it's, a bit, it's not very clear. And you know why? Because the pasta has released the starch. Why? Yeah? Into yeah, it. Yes, definitely not clear. The, the water looks, but this has extra fancy pasta. Yeah. So just we let, we let, I mean, of course, Italians we love our pasta uh, quite al dente, you know. But I understand if you don't use to that kind of bite in the pasta, let it go one or two minutes more according to your liking, right? And another good trick is you do this pasta just to cover it, okay? So the pasta cooks even better, okay? So that's fantastic. Now, next step, Nelly, is adding the tuna. Okay, add the tuna. Yep. Here. Okay. Let me get a little, let me get a pot or a lid for that. Take your time, darling. We're not in a hurry. <laughs> Look at this pasta. Mmm. Mezzogiorno pasta. Yeah? Half day pasta. The pasta of the south. I mean, this is, again, it's a dish that will make everyone happy. I mean, I call it Mezzogiorno because it's also the name of my book. But, uh, but <laughs> you can have this at night if you want to. You can this in the afternoon. You invite friends. 
You just order from Italiano and then just with the pasta you're gonna have it there. Okay? Yeah. So, so should, should we have the tuna together now? The tuna is ready. Look. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't tuna. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, that's, that's good. That's nice. That's good. I mean, actually, I'm thinking that I said before I would add a bit of uh, lemon zest on top. I mean, next time I'll do that because uh, I think it really would add, now I'm going to inspire with this beautiful sunny day. I think it would add a bit of uh, lemon zest on top of this beautiful sunny day. Now I'm going to inspire with this beautiful sunny day. I mean, on the top of the burrata, on top of this, a bit of, you know, zest of unwaxed lemon, that would be perfect. Yeah? What do you think? Okay. Look, I'm gonna... Now, just let it go with um, a bit more high temperature so we can absorb all the liquids. And then I think we can go and uh, finish the dish when you're ready. Yeah? Yes, very good. Now you have yes. I have a house full of very excited family members to try this. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Oh, so I'm going to switch. Look, look at this one the way it is now. Look, I mean, look. Look at this. It's, it's quite creamy. Now, we didn't put any cream here. We didn't put any, any butter. Just olive oil, right? There is, of course, a bit of mm -hmm. but look what we got. Let's see. I mean, it's also. I wouldn't say light, but you know, is 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 not a lot of but a lot of fat, which is uh, which she makes uh, uh, much more pleasant, right? Yeah, definitely better for us. Okay, so are you there? Are we going to fit into legs? Are you happy with the, your result so far? I am very happy with the result. Fantastic! You're the best. So now look what we're doing. You go to the plate. <laughs> I'm gonna play here, so you can see better. My just sent a message and said, can we pass some out the window to her? Maybe we can do that. This is, you know, <laughs> modern times. Okay, look, look a simple trick about the way we play dinner. Dinner. Look, I mean, if you've got something like that at home, it's fine. If not, which I understand if you don't have it. But look, this pass is very long. You just, you know, keep pulling up, you know? Okay. You know? Okay, look, when you get to this stage, you just put the plate. Yeah. Yeah. This we get. And then we're gonna get a bit of the sauce, just packs, packed of flavors. Yeah, packed full of flavors, full of the duja, the tuna, the olive, the garlic, basil. Beautiful. And we're just gonna put on top. Oh man, this looks good. Really. really? Great. Yeah, mamma mia, that's good, darling. So, I mean, as I, as I said before, I mean, if someone wants to replicate this dish, just order on the liver room from Italiano, and you get this beauty, this kind of ingredient that everyone can do at home, okay? And I'm going to have some of those now. So, Nadine, when you get there, this level, at this stage, sorry, we need to grab a spoon. Yes. Let's get a spoon here, darling. And see the stracciatella here? Yes, get a little spoon. Let me bring, let me come back and see what you're doing there. Sure. Oh yeah, that stuff. Wow. Okay. So now, what we're doing? This. Oh, mamma mia. This is unbelievable. This, wow. well, I'm not saying that I did that, but honestly, I'm, I'm salivating. I just shouldn't, you know? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you're... Yes. That is incredible. And what we're doing now, just to finish the dish, okay? What we're going to get? A few leaves, okay? So yours is all... Okay. Look at this baby here. I mean, of course, if you can, you can add a little bit of extra virgin oil on top. But if you don't want, that's fine. But hey, look at this. Yeah. Happy? Very, 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 very happy. This looks unbelievable. Is it time to eat it yet? Sorry? 
Yes, you stamp your heat. You should try that. Actually, I'm going to try this. Try to try this. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Uh, try it. Let me know what you think. My connection. I've already started to mess with that. Hmm. Oh. You know what? Oh. In a sign that is. And if you just look down and stuff, all you want is something like that. It will make your day easier. It will make your day, it will make you look at your day in a different way, in a different perspective. It's so good and so simple. So don't forget to go to the delivery room. And uh, Nadine, thank you very much for being cooking with me today. You've been phenomenal, amazing. So thank you very much for accepting this. And I hope you had fun as much as I did today. Yeah, so, so, so much fun. I know I just can't wait to eat up. Go try it and thank you for sending all the stuff. It's so, so great. Thank you. Thank you, darling. I hope to see you very, very soon. I love you, Thank you, you for that in. You've been amazing. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 And anyway, thank you people for watching. It's been amazing. So remember, if you want to order, go to Delivery Room and Italiano and all of this beautiful stuff. And this is going to be in our story now. So you can basically see this again the way you want it. So thank you very much again. It's been a great pleasure. And um, I hope to see you very soon. Okay? Look at this. Yeah, don't forget. The Indonesia, the spaghetti, this beautiful tomato, gentile, excellent Johnny Ball. And this burrata, this burrata is not gonna get this burrata is not gonna get lost now. It's gonna be a few tomatoes or on a bread or or just like this because it's so good. Yeah. Mm. Ancora, arrivederci. Thank you very much. It's been great.